Now, one of the more common complaints I hear from students about the O-level practical exam is that they're worried they will mess up the titration experiment. You know, they're worried that their results will be different from what the correct results are, and they're going to lose a lot of marks. So in this video, we're going to take a sneak peek into the marking scheme, and I'm going to show you where the marks are at. Now by now, I'm sure you know that the titration question is worth about 15 marks in all of the exam. Of the 15 marks, 5 marks goes to results. Now does this mean you lose all 5 marks if you mess up your experiment? The answer is no. It's still possible to get 3 out of the 5 marks even if you mess up your experiment. And here's how. The first thing you want to do is this. You want to make sure that you construct a table with the correct units and correct headings. All right? This gives you 1 mark. The second thing you want to do is this. You want to make sure that your burette readings are to the nearest 0.05 cm cube. All right? And the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have two readings that are within plus minus 0.2 cm cube of each other. So even if your readings are wrong, it doesn't matter. As long as you have two of them within plus minus 0.2 of each other, you get one mark. All right? And this gives you three out of five marks. To get most of the remaining 10 marks, you need to make sure you can do more calculation correctly. You see, in chemistry, there's this thing known as ECF, which stands for Error Carry Forward. So even if you got all the readings wrong, all right, if your method is correct, you will still be awarded full marks for calculation. All right? So I hope this short video has shown you where the marks are at and helped you to feel a little bit less stressed the next time you're doing titration. I'll see you next time.